Hey folks. Hey folks, Brad Miller back with you today. Uh, just a couple more tips about um, uh, some fly tying ideas that I have here. Um, you know, recently I've been tying up some variations of uh, the uh, one of my favorite streamers, probably a, probably my favorite streamer, and it's uh, it's the Murdich Minnow. I was developed by Bill Murdich, uh, a Florida angler, and largely a saltwater type uh, fly. And um, there's all kinds of different pattern variations that you can tie. Um, but what I, what I want to talk about today a little bit is that, incidentally, when you tie a Murdich minnow and you're using it for fresh water, tie it on a, a stainless steel hook because they work as good or better in salt water if you ever get down that way as they do in fresh water. So be prepared to do that. Uh, here's a tip that I, I picked up recently and figured out a little bit. Um, I tied a Murdich a while back, and sometimes I'll use these what I call button eyes um, on them just because they, they look pretty cool and they work pretty good. If you put a dab of, of glue on both sides of that and really kind of push that glue head in there to get it impregnated into the material, and then use your fingers to apply that and press those eyes on and hold it for a while, you get a pretty good fixation. Um, if you do it with a popper body, um, you'll get a pretty good fixation. The reason I say pretty good is because a lot of times um, you don't get a really great fixation and one of these eyes will pop off once they start to get beat up a little bit. If you can see if you take a look at that head from the top, um, these things are actually sticking out a little bit, uh, probably more than they should be. So here's what I did on a, on a more recent Murdich. Okay, see how tight those eyes are now to that head. Um, and what I did was once I put those eyes on, then I grabbed a good old paper uh, paper clip. I grabbed a good old clamp like this. You can find it on a clothesline nearby. And um, you just have to make sure that you don't have any glue on the outside of those eyes when you put this on here. Ob 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 obviously, it will adhere to the wood. But you leave this clamp on there for... And you can also, you know, help orient the, the eyes and everything else when you get the when you get the clamp on there. And then after you've had it on there for about a couple of minutes, you take it off of there, and that will actually really pinch in those eyes much better than if you do it with just your fingers. Because when you do it with your fingers, if you press for a while, it'll kind of come back out. It's kind of resilient that way. But when you use a clothespin. Um, it keeps them in there, and it keeps them in tight. It actually adds a little bit narrower profile, um, which is probably much more nature-like than uh, what you'd see otherwise. So think about using a clothespin to clamp on those eyes on streamers, okay? It's not going to work as well, near, nearly as well on a popper body, but for a streamer, they work really, really well. Hey, Brad Miller with FlyBest.com. Visit us online. Uh, we'll see you again soon.